Continuing coverage now on the back and forth between the Elmira City School District and Finn Academy Charter School. WENY's Natalie Abruzzo was there this morning as the two sides remain at odds over, a na over using a now vacant Elmira School Building. Natalie? Ross, the school board meeting for the Elmira City School District met today and one item was noticeably absent from the agenda. The proposal for the Finn Academy Charter School to lease the former Ernie Davis Middle School. It was a sea of blue Finn Academy t-shirts as community members Apparently showed up right at Ernie second. Davis Academy to give their support for Finn Academy's proposal to lease the former Ernie Davis Middle School. I'm a taxpayer, I'm a community member, I'm a parent. Um, I think Finn's important. I think uh, adding it to the, uh, to the community is important and I want them to see that. Parents, Finn Academy staff, board members and Elmira business owners spoke one by one to speak on behalf of the charter school. Many pleading for the board to approve a lease for Finn to use the former Ernie Davis Middle School. I feel like why hasn't it hasn't been made to the agenda today? Um, why would a school remain vacant in an area where there's a need for children and they're ready to use it? Many parents stress the reason they want to move their kids to Finn isn't due to the quality of Elmira City Schools, stating they went there themselves as children. However, they're looking forward to the smaller classroom size, different curriculum, and Finn's special needs program. But many wanting to know why the lease was not even on today's agenda. I'm hoping they have a backup plan because, frankly, I don't care what, where they go. I, I don't care if it's cubicles in a gym. I want her to attend Finn. The school board heard all of the people and then headed into a closed door executive session without making a decision. It's inexplicable that this district would not honor the only lease offer that has been made on this building. It is denying 216 children the right to a free and appropriate public education when it has the opportunity to um, and, re and responsibility to act on that. The Finn Academy is scheduled to open its doors on August 17th. If they don't find classroom space, they may have to push the opening by one year. Reporting in the studio, Natalie Abruzzo, WENY News.